I rely on fur to cover me up. But I've been reading some great stories, and they've inspired me to give this clothing thing a chance. From ancient mythology to the drawing rooms of 18th century England, from the battlefields of the Hundred Years' War to the Great American Civil War, I've learned to dress the part. Cool, huh? Costumes are really important. They help create the setting. Costumes give, give that actor the, the feel of the time and place. When I played Romeo, my special costume helped me get in the mood for Elizabethan theater. So how do we create these exceptional costumes? It starts with a classic book on which the episode is based. Our team looks to the book to find any references to specific styles of clothes. Then we research the historical period to see what the stylish and the not-so-stylish wore at that time. Using all this information, we designed the costume. Then the stitching shop sews the costumes for the human actors. Okay, my co-stars are dressed. Now, what about the dog? I go from a picture of a human in clothes and make it and transform it into a dog. That's right. All of my costumes are custom made. Let's face it, doggy-sized tuxedos are not widely available. Mm. I even have a special assistant who helps me get dressed. You know, it's all part of being a superstar. I appreciate the hard work it takes to make my costume, and I take care of them. We've never um, had to clean Wishbone's costume. He doesn't get dirty unless he's supposed to. Like any major celebrity, I have tons of costumes and a huge closet. Let's take a tour. Here, he's a Nanzi the, the trickster, Nanzi the spider. A trickster like a Nanzi has to have a clever costume. I wore this costume when I was D'Artagnan, one of the musketeers. All for one, and one for all! I wore this costume as Tom Sawyer when I had my adventures with Huck Finn by the banks of the Mississippi River. Tom Sawyer the pirate! Our costumes take a lot of work to create, but I'll let you in on a secret. The most important thing we use to create the costumes is imagination. Ta-da! Take Odysseus's helmet. The helmet is actually the, uh, the bottom of a uh, soda bottle. It's a lot of fun to, to think these things up and to make them look like what they were supposed to be. Sounds like it. Tune into your local PBS station. Coming up next on WLIW 21. One of these. Okay, pick a card, Chief. I'm going to show you your fortune. Oh, great. Oh, that one. This one here. It says, uh, watch where in the world is Carmen San Diego right here. Oh, great. Let's do another one. Sure. Ah, that one. This one here. It says, uh, it's time you gave your favorite special agent who wears a funny tie a nice raisin promotion. Uh -huh. I like that. Why don't you pick one, Greg? Okay, this one here. Mm -hmm. What's it say? Go away, Greg. You don't know how to do this. Carmen San Diego. You're watching WLIW Channel 21.